Oh my god. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, I completely forgot about this series. I was about to say, what happened to all my saves? Alright, anyways, what is up you guys? It's your boy King Jeremy 15 here. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. I want I wanna put it in. Hey bro. Let's let's try to let's try to finish this game, bro. Honestly. So, so I don't ever I don't ever have to touch it. Because I'm because I've been I've been trying to avoid this game, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I hate that I'm back. Alright, bro, coming up. Hi again, Jeremy. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Haha. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. Yeah, I'm back at the literature club. Is right because it's been, I believe, like two months that I last played this game. Huh? Two Guys, what is this? What is this? Okay. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. I'm not, I'm not even gonna question why your faces did that, Yuri, but... What, whatever. Thanks for keeping your promise, Jeremy. I hope this isn't, this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into the literature when you're not ac ac accustomed to it. Why is the resolution like awkward? Why is it like all crooked and shit? Nasuki, for real? Stop with all that. Oh, come on, I can deserve any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Ma Monica, can you move? Alright, yeah, that's okay, he's definitely big mouth to it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, big mouth to it. Yeah, whatever. That's like you find yourself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. Manga, Manga, it's legend. Uh, uh, Swiftly defeated, and Sucky falls back into her seat. I'm sorry, Jeremy. Well, make sure you put your comfort first, okay? You were shooting Nasuki with a disappointing glance. <laughs> um, anyways, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interested in picking up a book to read. Can you stop changing the tone of the music, please? Well, I can't really say. They say no either way. Like I said, I'm in this club now, so it only feel it only feels right for me to do something like that if you ask. Wait, wait, I didn't mean like that. Uh, if you don't if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything. I guess. Uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. I want to try to be part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'll be happy to pick up a book if you want want me to. Uh, are you sure? I just felt like. Well, as vice president and all, that should help you get started on something you might like. You're really reaching for a bag and pull out a book. Bro, I'm not trying to do all this again, bro. I mean, I didn't really do this part. I actually did Nasuki. Try to hook up Nasuki. Hook up with Nasuki and not Yuri. I didn't really care about Yuri that much. I didn't want you to feel left out. Could you stop? So I picked out a book that I might, thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, just discuss it, discuss it if you want. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She's not accidentally being cute, bro. She wants you. She even picked out a book that she thinks I like. It's probably not reading much. 
Here we thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone is settled in, I expected Monica to kick off with some scheduled activity for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already burning in the book. I can't help but notice her intense, intense expression like she's waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Nasuki is rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad distracting her from my reading. I quite catch a glimpse of the cover of the book, of her book. Looks like it's the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah. Huh. Crap. I think she knows me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and her eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in the book. In her book. Sorry, uh, I was just facing out. I murdered this sentence and I made her uncomfortable. Oh. Uh, it's, it's fine. If, if I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. And I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, what's going on here? Yuri. Yuri, uh, fix her, fix her eye, but Yuri. Yuri! What? Uh, Yuri, fix her eye. Your eye is falling out. I I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just just curious. How come you have two copies of the, of the same book? Ah, uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just just happened to buy two of them. Ah, oh, I see. There's some fairly obvious. There's, there's something fairly obvious here that you isn't telling me, but I just, I decided to let it go. I'll just start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts, once it starts to pick up, then you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's the story about, anyways? Well, hmm. I looked at the cover of the book. The book is titled "Portrait of Mar Portrait of Markov." There's an ominous-looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religion religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. Huh? And the people trapped there have this tra have this trait that turns them into killing machines and that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse, and they started selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing. Bruh. What? What is this? Oh, that might be a bit of, a little bit of a spoiler. But enemies, I'm really into it. The book, I mean, not the things about the limbs. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? You really made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, but that dark turn came out of nowhere. Ah, well, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Jeremy? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy this, those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I tell the you guy you're is into those things. Uh, whatever. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story is the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil. Because the world is full of horrible people and they're all worthless anyway. What? Bro, Yuri, I'm about to... What's up? I'm rambling out, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest in anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books, books and writings fill my thoughts... I hope I'm good. Not to say her whole body becomes. Dead. She was about to say she becomes horny whenever. Oh my god! I kind of, I kind of forget to pay atten attention to other people. Does it? 
Okay. Okay. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if, if I start talking too much. I mean, that's, I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Literature club after all. Ah, uh, I mean, that's, that's true. In fact, I mean, I might as well get start, started reading this, right? <gasps> Fuck you, Yuri! Fuck you! Alright. Yes. I mean, you don't have to, but... Ah, what are you saying? Let me just cut the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put un un into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri. Ah, uh, I mean, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little... oppressive. That's... I mean, I'm sorry. It's not like I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. It is being in company with someone. I see. Well, let me just... Just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I opened the door and started the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri man, man, means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her present over my shoulder as I read. How long have I been recording? 30 minutes, okay. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat uh, confident. Yuri is in the corner of my eyes. I realized that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks, it looks like she's reading for my book instead. Sorry, I was... <laughs> she was bathing in the feeling of... I didn't read... I, I, I was... All, that's all I saw, okay? She, I always just saw... Uh, so you're, you're a freak, huh? You're a freakily, aren't you? You freaky, freaky, stupid son of a f- Alright. You, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I- uh, I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean- Huh. Hey, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri, then hold my book more between the two of them. Ah, I mean, I suppose so. Yuri timid, timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulder are, shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I instead use my right hand to hold the book open. Wait, what? Uses... Okay, so... The... Okay, that's... Alright. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes the left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah, huh. I do the same with my right arm on the s right side of the book. That way, I turn the page, turn the page, and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. That's kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my corner of my vision. Are you ready? Huh? You turn the page. Oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glanced over at Yuri's face and, and our eyes meet. I don't know if, how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, that's okay. You're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes me a little longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Uh, yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn... If I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finished the page before me, so I, I turn it by my own of volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey Yuri, uh, this might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Oh, what the fuck? Huh? No, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she sa she says, and all that. 
Ah, oh, that's what you were talking about. Oh, sorry. Uh, I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Now, never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't even know why that came into my head. Ha 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 are you feeling alright? Huh? Yuri been Yuri's been a bit fidgety at, ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is like a little Her breathing? Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyways, I'm fine. I did some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What the hell was that about? Jeremy, did something just happen just now? Uh, what? I have no idea. Yuri was just acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, uh, no, no, not really. I was just making sure you didn't do anything to her. What? What? The f- No, nothing. Uh, don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does it sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyways, why don't we start sharing our poems with each other? Uh, shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Uh, she might be a while, so I just figured we should just get started without her. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, I was just asking. I stand up and make a mental note of where I left off in the book and slip it back into my bag. <coughs> Alright, who should I show my poem to first? Let's, let's start with Natsuki. I told Natsuki I was interested in a poem yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Jeremy, if you're not gonna take this club seriously, then go home. What? Harsh. What? You just to believe that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, but I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? If it's a part of the first po poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Painful to think about? Fine! I'm sorry. I get better anyways. I'll tell you what to improve, but you better have to try again. Fair enough. What to each their own, I guess. Anyways, I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, knowing you, you probably think it's stupid. Hi, Jeremy. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, uh, if you ever have suggestions for the club, like new activities or things that we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things, bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid, I'll be afraid to bring things up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm much more better just going off of the floor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I... I mean, it's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Jeremy. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of bird that we all learn to get past in. Yeah, that's true. I have Monica my poem. Hmm. Great job, Jeremy. I was going, oh, in my head while, re while reading it. It's really meta metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. And because I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. <laughs> that way, it always counts whenever I put in some effort. Ah, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyways. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean like that like it's a bad thing though. I mean, but sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally giving up on people. She spends so much time- Hold on. Okay. She spends so much time in her own head that it's prob probably a, mu a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy whenever you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social in in interactions, so I don't blame her for coming on a little stronger. Like early earlier, I think she get a little too stimulated, she ends up with withdrawing and looking for alone time. So the door's open. Fury! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Uh, we all started sharing poems with each other. Oh. Already? I'm sorry for being late. 
No, no need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I, sh I suppose I should get I should go get my poem now. Anyways, you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. It's not pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I'm always, I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Uh, did we read this one? Hold the wall, it was look at me. Hold it. Hold it. My burnt eye, I can all the same color. So, all this in this room, are they talking? <laughs> oh, the simply poems on flash sheets of paper. Uh, some dark shit. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah, uh, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of stuff has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been put in emphasis on the timing between words and lines. And perform out loud, it can be really powerful. Your turn. As Siri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Siri, go away! No one called you! Expedition? X. X. Okay. Huh? What was that? Oh, did I say that out loud? Siri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole, her whole face. Hi. Uh. Uh, he's he's going to hate me. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Yeah? That's... Oh, I guess you're right. I'm not getting so nervous for Haha. Uh -huh. Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment com coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri says when we blanked it, then let's, let's set the poem again. Whoa! I know that. I just meant, um... Yuri trails out, unable to find an excuse. She traces her fingers along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more th thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It says that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And oh my god, what the fuck does this even mean? Alright, uh, let's... I said with that. Ah, oh, phew. I guess that's everyone. Yeah, bro. I already read all that. I glanced around the room. That was a little bit more stressful than I anticipated. As if anyone's about to move from being a car and I don't like how you're changing the music. That'd yeah, be nice. Just don't worry if my phone cuts down today. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Brian up down Okay, cool. My eyes land on Yuri and Asuki. They're exchanging sheets of paper, sharing a respective poem. Uh huh. They read in tandem. I uh, watch each other expression change. I have a feral. Uh, what's with this language? Eh? Did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. That's really this one. Okay. I guess you could say it's fancy. And anyway, hey, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Didn't you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can I be cute? I know that. Uh, I just meant uh, the language, I guess. I was just trying to say something, something nice. Eh? You, had to, you really had to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it didn't really come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Uh, if I was looking for suggestions, I would ask someone who actually liked the poem. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and Jeremy did too. So based on that, I was glad to give you some suggestions of my own. First of, first of all, excuse me, uh, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a lot of time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Uh, and Jeremy liked my poem too, you know. You even told me he was impressed by it. Uh, here we go. Yeah. The fight. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress a new member, Yuri. Eh? Well, that's not what I... Uh, well, you just... Uh, maybe you should tell us that Jeremy appreciated my advice more than he appreciated yours. Eh? How do you know he didn't appreciate my advice? Yeah, my. Are you that full of yourself? I... No, if I was so full myself, I would deliberately go out, oh, go out my way of making everything I do over the QT. Oh, damn, Yuri! God damn, you got a good that time! Uh, well, you know what? I wasn't the one who booed that those good size burger as soon as Jeremy started showing up. Guys, do I read that again? 
I wasn't the one whose boobs mag magically grew a size bigger as soon as Jeremy started showing up. I knew her boobs were big. Alright, I'm. Uh, Natsuki! I'm gonna suck at this a little bit. Oh, this isn't about yeah. Take on your own insecurity on others like that. You really act as long as you really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Uh what the hell is going on here? Me? Look who's talking, you wanna be you wanna be edgy bitch. <laughs> Damn! We got the freaking swear word. What is going on? What is this? Edgy? Oh sorry. Oh my god. I'm not reading all this. Oh, damn. Damn, she's talking about cutting herself. Damn! Oh, okay. Oh, what the I don't know. Fuck! Fuck! Yeah. Monica? Um. Hey, uh, Jeremy. Why don't we step outside for a little bit, okay? Uh, sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back once inside. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Haha! Uh -huh. uh, some present I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyways, it just makes you want to spend less time with the others, so no, that's fine. I'll be happy to spend time with you instead. So then that sticker runs out the classroom. Oh. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I, I didn't, I didn't mean it. Yuri's rocking back and forward in her death with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I I didn't I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki, or did. Jeremy, please don't hate me. Please, I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. You no, know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget about it all by tomorrow, completely. Anyways, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me uh, like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You you can go first, Monica. I like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Uh, well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. Kind of sounds to me that you don't want me some around for something, Yuri. It's not that. I mean, it's just not that. It's, I didn't. I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Jeremy. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. Ah, <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? Sorry for causing trouble. I really <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. Ha ha ha! I hate this game. I hate this game. I honestly hate this game, bro. Man, fuck this game. I hate this game, bro. I'm out of here. I'm no. I'm not playing. No. Fuck you. Done with this game, bro. What, what new pictures I got? Huh? What other fucked up images are you gonna show me this time? Huh? 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 What are you gonna show me this time? Huh? You fucking bitch. What is this? Huh? What other fucked up images are you gonna show me this time, huh? Huh? Huh?
Okay. Okay. Here you go, uh, let's turn to... Uh... <laughs> oh, say sorry. Say sorry. Say sorry. Say sorry. No. That for real body, my girl. Say sorry. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> I just was this all here? There's a little devil inside all of us between their manufactured perception. That, oh my god, if you don't shut the fuck up. Yeah, raising that. Okay. Let's hope you guys enjoyed this. Mm. Hope you guys enjoyed this fucked up episode of uh, Doki Doki Literature Club. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace, peace out. Sorry for it's so short, bro. Like, honestly, I don't. I, 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 I hate this game. All right, peace out, you guys.